You know what the Bible said? The Bible said that rich man uh, that died went to hell without God was over there. And you know what he was screaming? He said, send Lazarus that he might dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. Like that right there. Just one drop of water. He said, put a drop on my tongue. I'm tormented in this flame. Ladies and gentlemen, it is no joke today. This is nothing to play with. Your soul will live forever in heaven or hell. The Bible said there's a hell. For a fire is kindled in mine anger and shall burn unto the lowest hell and shall consume the earth with their increase and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. The Bible declares it. The Bible definitely, emphatically, dogmatically, clearly states and declares without apology that there is a hell below your feet this morning. Amos chapter number 9 even tells us where it's at. Let me just give you a few scriptures. Fifty-three times in the Bible it says there's a hell. The Bible says in Job 26 and verse 6 that hell is naked before God. He sees it all. The Bible said in Psalm 9, 17 that the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. The Bible said in Psalm 9, 18 that her guests, talking about uh, the wicked woman of the way of the world, are in the depths of of hell. The Bible said in Psalm uh, Proverbs 15:24, that says a young man, depart from her. Depart from her. Talking about that wicked lifestyle, the wife of a prostitute, or our living in sin, is the gate and the way to hell. The Bible talks about in Ezekiel 31, verse 16, I will cast him down to hell. Isaiah 5 and verse 14, it said, Hell hath enlarged herself. I had to go into a building program. We'll say more about that in a minute. Isaiah 14, 9 said, Hell from beneath is moved to meet you at your coming. It just comes up and swallows people as they leave this world. The Bible said in Matthew 18, 9 that you'd be better off to pluck your eye out than having two eyes than to die without God and go to hell. There's no doubt about what the Bible said. The person says, I just don't believe in hell. What you're saying is the Bible was wrong and I'm right. Luke chapter 10 and verse 15 said they'll be thrust down to hell. Luke chapter 12 and verse 5 it said, Fear not them which have power uh, have killed the body and I have power to cast both soul and body in hell. Not the biggest trick the devil's ever pulled on our generation is saying hell is a joke. Hell's not real. Hell has not real fire. God's too good. God wouldn't do that somebody. He's too good to do that. The Lord would never do that. I'm telling you, the book of this Bible declares there is a hell. Are you listening to me? Always telling me subconsciously it's down inside them that it's real. Isn't it funny that they say it ain't real, but they talk about it all the time? They'll say one thing for sure, he died and went to hell. And they're always telling, you couldn't watch TV probably two hours without hearing the word hell and damn and damn to hell and down in the wrong over and over and over and over and over. You know why they talk about it? Because deep, deep down inside, they know it's got to be true. There is a hell. It's burning this morning. It's blistering this morning. There's people in hell right now that died last night in car accident. They'll never get out. The Bible declares it. The wall suggests it. It's in every movie. It's on the big screen. See you in hell. Rotten hell. I hope you I hope you rot. That's what they say on all the newscasts. I hope he rots in hell every day in every courtroom when a judge says uh, he's innocent. The family sitting over here saying, I hope he goes to hell. They know it's real. When scientists found out that the inside of the world was on fire. You know, if you just went out and dug a hole, the deeper you dig, the colder it gets. The ground's cold down there. You wouldn't think that. I mean, if, you, if people just made the Bible up, they wouldn't say it's on fire in the middle. They couldn't have known that thousands of years ago. But Amos said, though they dig into hell, 
Luke chapter 16 said the rich man died, went to hell. Paradise was in there. That was in the center of the earth. They saw each other. Jesus moved paradise when He rose from the grave, took it up to heaven, led captivity captive. That's why them Old Testament saints didn't go to heaven. They went to Abraham's bosom or paradise. Their sins had not been paid for. They would just been covered. So when Jesus died on the cross, He emptied out paradise, took them up to heaven. Hell stayed down there. And that's exactly what science has now confirmed. I used to try to tell myself that it wouldn't be forever. My mom used to go around the house and she'd say, Lord, oh Lord, Lord, I want to go to heaven because hell's an awful place. And I remember thinking, surely it's not forever. Surely that can't be. That can't be forever. And I'd hear them old preachers get up just like I'm doing today and say, the Bible said the worm dies not. The fire's not quenched. The Bible said the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever. You say, nobody's that bad. I haven't been that bad. I'm not that bad of a person. You reject God's Son. God let His Son die. By the way, if there's no hell that people go to when they leave here, why did Jesus even die? He walks around us All that He does All of His mercy And all of His love The pen of the writer Could write everything Even His words Could never contain Sister 